I'm going to talk to you today about something that I have been trying to do for years. And it all came back to the whole thing. You guys know I'm kind of a freak for image transfer using the gel press. Well, the whole thing started with a mistake. It started putting my keyboard behind me. The whole thing started with a mistake. The whole thing started with someone saying that they had placed their gel plate on a piece of printed newsprint. And because they had done that, that the image from the newsprint had transferred to their plate. And how, how, how could they clean it off? And so I thought, well, first of all, I was like, it started going ding, ding, ding. And that's where all of the image transfer ideas came from since then. But I could never figure out how to truly transfer off newsprint. And that's why I've been a brat today and kind of called this newsworthy because I finally figured it out, gals and, and guys, if you're here. Um, so I wanted to share this with you. Um, so I'm super excited to say that I finally figured it out. And here we go. Let's flip to the downward camera and show you the most simple, fantastic, wonderful, and fun image transfer technique I think I've ever hit. So here we go. Downward camera. Whoop. All right, my messy workspace as always. I've got a couple different plates here. I've got my big 12 by 12 that I'm just using as a palette and I've um, been playing with some other ones here. And we're gonna give this a try because I just thought it was so much fun. Now this, if you haven't seen it before, this is an impressible and it's a very dirty impressible because I never clean my plates because I like to use them as they are. But what I wanted to show you today was image transfer. So. Back to the original problem, newsprint. This is our Newtown B, wonderful little paper. And this works really well with things like um, old papers like this. Um, not like a USA Today, although give it a try. It can't hurt it to give it a try. But these are like the, the things that you get in the mailbox for free, this really old newsprinty kind of uh, newspapers. So this is just our Newtown B extra that came in the mail. and. What I'm going to do next is just find some text on here. As you can see, I've been attacking. And uh, this has got a nice bit of text here. So I'm going to grab this section of the paper. I'm going to take my gel press plate. And this is the impressible. You could use this with a regular one, too. We'll do both. And I'm just going to place this on top of the newsprint. And literally, you know, as long as you're making good contact, you can probably just count to 10. I'm going to make sure I've got a good contact between this and that and just count to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lift off. Now, I know it's impossible for you to see, but I can see that there's some text on here. Let's get my paper out of the way. Oh, ha ha. Actually got some on here too. This is kind of cool. I placed it on top of another gel plate. Oh, we're going to go get that later. Yes. Okay. So now I've got my little palette plate to the side. I love it. Happy accidents are cool. And the way that you clean newsprint off of a gel plate is by putting a couple drops of baby oil on top and then you can wipe it off. What if we control that application and use an RNF oil pigment stick? These things are like lipstick-like quality. It's really soft. It's oil paint you can hold in your hand. And if I control that application of the oil by just smearing some here on my uh, little palette plate to the side, and then I'm going to take my economy brayer and just roll that out and roll it right across my Impressibles Rose Mandala. And by doing so, now it's not necessarily a pickup print, but guess what? It kind of is because it's, it's not reactivating, but the oil is lifting it off because it's something that we use for cleanup, right? I know, it's confusing. I'm going to just show you because... It just came to me this morning. Literally, Monday mornings are when I start experimenting, and this has been bothering me since I mentioned it. 
uh, during our little ranger play date last week that I had never figured this out and then it came to me BAM quite suddenly that this would be easy to do and so just make good contact and lift off and we have every little tiny bit of the text comes through and that works on all kinds of different surfaces. Let's do something with a bit of more of a bold print. The beauty of it is though that the newsprint itself, you're not ruining it or wasting it. You can use it again and again and again and again and again because it, it doesn't take it away. It just kind of lifts off layers. So this funky little part over here where I just happened to get, it looks like a happy hour menu for a new restaurant that has tapas. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get that straight off of here too. So I'm just going to take another color and I'm using really light colors. This is like Scarlet Extra Pale from R&F, which is just a really pretty light color. But I, I never like to use like titanium white, so I thought it'd be really fun to try this out with some other light colors. So now we're going to get this and put it onto something else. Let's take a piece of deli paper, for example. Just your basic deli paper. Place that on top of the plate that's got the newsprint that you want and you applied your oil paint to basically lift it off, clean it up in an organized fashion. And voila, difficult to see. Put it on top of something. There I have Alicante Bar de Tapas and their menu. <laughs> Okay, so it's lifting everything off. So we can do this in a very organized fashion. Here's another one, and I'll hold this up with a piece of paper behind it so you can see it. This is on deli paper. So you can get really, really, really detailed image transfer. Now, as far as ghost prints, let's see. Still got a little bit of oil paint on there. It doesn't give you much of a ghost print because you pretty much lifted it off. Very, very faint, but it's a nice way to just kind of clean it up and move on to your next print. Now let's put one on top of an existing piece of artwork. We're going to place this aside. We've got a whole bunch of text here. I have no idea what it's about and some pictures too. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and grab that and put it on an existing print that I have just to show you that you can use this to layer. Because um, the oil paints are applied so thinly and I'm using these really light colors. Um, you can easily get all of this and transfer it onto an existing piece of work. So I have this wonderful little print that's already started up and so I'm just going to grab bits of this because I can control what I get and where so that I just get bits of it on my work. I don't have to go for the perfect transfer and that's what I want to show you. And I'm probably going to have to scan this in so you can see it well. But all over this now, there is just wonderful text. And I will scan it in because I know it's very difficult sometimes to see this. But we have text all over it now. And so it's just another great way to use something that you have and use it over and over and over again. And you don't destroy the newsprint by placing it on top of the gel plate. So you can really get a lot of use out of it. Um, so that's really it. Just wanted to share that with you. And thanks for watching. Um, I'm looking, I'm so happy to, to have finally figured this out and to share it with you and I can't wait to see what you make. Happy Monday!